God bless you, my friends. Just on last week, last Friday as a matter of fact, this church was filled with people. People came from miles around to celebrate the inaugural service, honoring yours truly. The presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ, Bishop Charles Edward Blake was our guest speaker. Bishop Leroy Jackson Woolard, my spiritual dad, was here, and it was such an honor to have him. Bishop Stenneth Powell of the great, uh, second jurisdiction of North Carolina was with us, and I was so honored. My friend from Memphis, Tennessee, the Bishop William Wright Sr., Bill Wright, was the master of ceremony, and what a tremendous job he did. I thank God for bishops who were in attendance, like Bishop Powell, as I mentioned, Bishop Hutchins, Bishop Chase, Bishop Murphy, Bishop McMillan, and Bishop Lorenzo Peterson from Seattle, Washington. Bishops from all over came to be a part of this service. My good friend, uh, Pastor Golden over our national, Michael Golden over our national men's department. And there were just so many wonderful people. My own supervisor, Supervisor Beverly DeJanae was of course in attendance and the supervisor of Greater North Carolina Jurisdiction, Supervisor Harazine Keyes was with us. Friends from uh, as far away as New Jersey, uh, Elder uh, Martin Luther Johnson, Elder Johnson was with us. And a good friend of mine, the evangelist, prophetess, Barbara Calloway from Dallas, Texas was with us. And I certainly appreciate these wonderful people that I am naming and there was just so many more, but I appreciate them coming to be a part of this service. My wife, of course, was with me. My mom, oh, thank God that the Lord let my mother live and raised up two years ago for her to be able to see this, and she's doing well. As a matter of fact, we talked on our way to church tonight. Just so many people. I don't want to sound like I'm name dropping. What I'm actually just trying to do is to say thank you. My chief of staff, Superintendent Tommy Quick. Oh, I can't say enough for the job that he did. And my first assistant of uh, NC Third Assistant, Chris Stone, I call him the Mighty Stone. He did a tremendous job. Along with the administrative staff of North Carolina Third, uh, Assistant Tharrington, Gates, Perry, Roland, Nichols, and Nesbeth. Fantastic men who are standing with me, helping me do the work of the Lord. I am so honored and so privileged and so thankful. The congregation of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, I boast all the time. I say that I have the greatest congregation in the world, oh, yeah, in the world. The saints were here, and I certainly do appreciate the way you turned out and made the night special. The members of North Carolina Third Gen uh, Jurisdiction, NC Third, were here in big numbers, and you made my heart glad. Most importantly, the Lord Jesus Christ was in the room. My friends from greater North Carolina were here and uh, just from all over, but Christ filled the room. Bishop Blake preached and the dance broke out. The Lord put his seal of approval on the service. This is my way of putting this post out to say to the people of North Carolina Third, the members of the upper room, people of the Church of God in Christ, the general board, and also a great shout out to Bishop Sedgwick Daniels. Without him selecting me to work with him and with the approval of the presiding bishop and the general board, I wouldn't have had this opportunity. Bishop Daniels had surgery on that day. He was scheduled to be with us, but he could not come. My prayer is that he have a speedy recovery. And Bishop, we're looking forward to bringing you in. We want to honor you. We want to do you right because you were good to us and you held this jurisdiction together and what a tremendous job you did and that you are doing, sir. May God's choice blessings continue to be yours. I just want to say thanks and I want to ask you to pray for me. Pray that I be the man of God that God is looking for. Pray that I walk humbly, love mercy, and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that God give me the wisdom, the acumen, the wit, the intelligence to lead such a great people. For the people of North Carolina Third are a great people. They are a wise people and they are a mighty people. 
people, and I'm honored to be at the helm of this jurisdiction. But I need your prayers. I often tell people when they pray, when I ask for prayer, I say, call my whole name, Patrick Lane Wooden Sr. Call my whole name. God will know who you're talking about. And say, help him, Lord. Lead him, Lord. Guide him, Lord. Protect him, Lord. And I will certainly be appreciative of the prayer. The music department that night, Oh, the Greater North Carolina Choir was amazing. Elder Clarence Rayford and the Church House Band, I guess the Jurisdiction Band, were rocking and the Lord used them and the choir, everything was done so beautifully. If I start, if I go back into it, I'm going to omit somebody. But for everything that was done, every kind word, and if I missed you, I didn't mean to. My cousin Linda, thank you for being here with us. Just so many people. And then online, you posted and you said so many kind things. I'm humble. I'm appreciative. Keep me in your prayers. God bless.